Hey guys, this is Mr. Grice for Algebra 2, Chapter 7.5 in class practice. We are solving by factoring. Woo! So just remember to get all the terms on one side of the equation. Make sure the leading coefficient is positive, and then factor and set each variable factor equal to zero to solve. Okay? All right, so let's start with number one. Now, the first thing that we always are supposed to do is check to see, is there a GCF? And there is, okay? I noticed that everything can be divided by two, and everything also has at least one x. All right, so I can factor out an x. The 2x goes out front, and we're left with x squared minus 8x plus 7 equal to 0. Okay, and no, I am not done here, guys. All right, we always want to see, can I factor anything further? The most important side work we ever do is right here. I'm looking for numbers that multiply to get to 7, but add to get to negative 8. What are they? Yeah, it's negative 1 and negative 7. Okay? Remember that they need to work for both cases. And now I can split, uh, split that middle term. We get x squared minus 1x minus 7x plus 7. Okay, this is our side work. Here, since this is our side work, I'm going to put it over here. Okay. I need to vector this. Okay. So my first group, there's an x in common. The x comes out front. And we're left with x minus 1. My back... I can take out a negative 7, so the negative 7 comes out front, and we're left with 1, okay? And that we wanted to, so we have x minus 1, and then my other binomial is x minus 7, okay? So we have our 2x, our x minus 1, and our x minus 7, all set equal to zero, okay? And now the last part, everything that, that has a variable, we set equal to zero, okay? So I take the 2x and I set it equal to zero. I take the x minus one and set it equal to zero. And then I take the x minus seven and I set it equal to zero. So our first one, we have to divide both sides by 2, and we get x equals 0. x minus 1, we have to add 1 to both sides, and we get that x equals 1. And on the last one, x minus 7, we have to add 7 to both sides, and we get that x equals 7. So those are our three answers. Now remember, I knew there were going to be three answers because our quadratic had an uh, um, our quadratic, our um, original equation had a highest exponent of three, which tells me there's going to be three answers. So the last thing I'm going to do is write those answers in order. Okay, so my answers are zero, one, and seven. There we go. Number two. So the first thing that we want to do is set it equal to zero. Now, it was nice because our first one was already set, set like that. So what I'm going to do is try to find my leading coefficient, which is my y cubed. And I want that to stay positive. So I'm going to move everything to the left side. Everything on the right side equals zero. 
uh, my positive 10 and negative 10, they cancel, and we're left with y cubed minus, no, negative 15 minus 21 is negative 36, excuse me, sneezed, uh, y cubed minus 36y equals 0. Okay, so how do I solve this? Well, remember, the first thing I always check, is there a GCF? And there is, there's a y. And now we're left with y squared minus 36 equals 0. So what we're left with is a quadratic binomial with subtraction. And what I notice is those are both perfect squares. So I can factor this further by taking the square root. And then we're left with y. And then I need to break that down. So the square root of y squared is y. 1's a plus, 1's a minus, and the square root of 36 is 6. All right, now everything with a variable I set equal to 0. So I have 1, 2, 3. So our first one, y equals 0. Boom, done. My next one, y plus 6 equals 0, and then y minus 6 equals 0. So when I solve for y, for the blue, I subtract 6, and we get y equals negative 6. And for the pink, I add 6 to both sides, and I get y equals 6. So I have my three answers. Now I just need to put them in order. So I got y equals negative 6. 0 and positive 6 as my final answer. Okay, number 3. So I notice that it's not set equal to 0. I'm looking for my positive, my leading coefficient. It's positive right now. So I want it to stay positive, which means I'm going to subtract the 4, and then I'm going to subtract the 2m. Okay? Now, we just need to be careful with our signs. Okay? I have 2m squared. Uh, negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8m, and negative 60 minus 4 is negative 64. And all that is set equal to 0. Now, the first thing I want to do is take out my GCF, which is a 2. Good. So the 2 comes out front, and we're left with m squared minus 4m minus 32 equals 0. Now, remember, we have to continue factoring this, OK? So I take my a times c, and that gives us negative 32. And I need numbers that add up to negative 4. Now, if that list doesn't come to you off the top of your head, you need to write down all the factors of 32. 1 and 32, 2 and 16, 4 and 8. So which one's it going to be? Yeah, it's going to be 4 and 8, but one of them has to be negative. Which one's negative? Good, the bigger number. All right, so I'm going to do all that factoring over here. So we, when we split the middle term, we would get uh, m squared plus 4m minus 8m minus 32. And when we split it, factor out the GCF, we get an m, so my m comes out front, and we're left with m plus 4. Now the GCF of the back is a negative 8. The negative 8 comes out front, and I'm left with m plus 4. So we have m plus 4, and then my other uh, binomial is m minus 8. Okay, 
So my next line would look like this. We have m plus 4, and then we have m minus 8 equal to 0. Now remember, it's everything with a variable is set equal to 0. So I only have two uh, variables. So I'm only going to have two answers right there. So there's my blue and there's my yellow. So we just have to be careful with all of our work here. OK? We have to be very organized. So if we were to subtract four to both sides, we get m equals negative 4. And we add 8 to both sides, we get m equals 8. So my two answers in order are m equals negative 4 and positive 8. All right, number 4. Here's our leading coefficient. That's on the right side this time. And I want it to stay positive. So I'm going to move everything on the left over to the right. So when I rewrite this, I get 0 equals 2n squared minus 9n plus 5. So is there a GCF? OK, so no GCF means I need to multiply. I'm looking for numbers that multiply to get to 10, but add to get to negative 9. OK, so what are they? You know? Sorry, wah wah. Do you see uh, Mr. Grace's mistake right here? Yeah, that's not supposed to be a 10 or a 5, Mr. Guys. That's supposed to be a 10. Where'd you learn math? Uh, the math store. Uh, so <laughs> it's supposed to be 2 times 20. Or 2 times 10, which gives us 20. So if we don't know all of the factors of 20, write them off to the side. We get 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. And it's going to be 4 and 5. Yeah, and they both have to be negative to make them both true. OK, so as we continue to do our side work, I've got the 2n squared minus 4n minus 5n plus 10. And that's what we need to factor. OK, so the GCF of the first group is a 2n. The 2n comes out front, and we're left with n minus 2. What's the GCF of the back? <laughs> yeah, it should be negative 5. Negative 5 comes out front, and I'm left with n. Is it minus 2? Because some people are just like, yeah, whatever, they have to match. Well, check. 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. All right, so they match our two binomials are n minus 2 and 2n minus 5. OK, so the last thing we have to do is everything with a variable we set equal to 0. So we have n minus 2 equaling to 0 and then 2n minus 5 equals 0. Well, the first one's easy. All we have to do is add 2 to both sides, and we get that n equals 2. Our last one, we have to add 5 to both sides, and we get 2n equals 5. And the n's not by itself yet, so we have to divide. And we're going to keep that as a fraction, and we get n equals 5 over 2. Now, the last step, I'm going to write my answer over here. It doesn't really matter where you write it, but to put them in order. And if you don't know that 
2 is less than 5 over 2, well then divide it out. Figure out what 5 over 2 is. It's 2.5. Okay? And there we go. All right, number five. Okay, let's get um, everything to one side, because remember, we have to set it equal to zero first. I'm moving everything to the left because that's positive and I want it to stay positive. So we get it set equal to zero and we get three W squared minus 5w minus 8. Okay, now I'm going to start you guys off, but then you guys are going to have to factor all of this on your own. Okay, so 3 times 8 is 24, and it's going to be a negative 24. And then, so we're looking for numbers that uh, multiply to negative 24 and add to negative 5. Okay. So here is your list of 24. It's 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. And our magic numbers are going to be, that's right, it's going to be 3 and good, negative 8. OK, so you guys are on your own for the rest of this, okay? You need to factor and solve, all right? Just remember, if you get a fraction, to keep it written as a fraction, okay? Pause the video, and good luck. Okay, and there's all of my work. And we get that w equals negative 1 and positive 8 over 3. When you factored it, you should have gotten uh, w plus 1 and 3w minus 8. Okay, last one. Number 6. So let's start by getting everything to one side. And yes, it goes to the right because that 5x squared is positive. I want it to stay positive. So everything on the left cancels, and then we get 4x squared minus 16. And you guys are on your own. Just remember, take out the GCM first. It'll be easier. OK. Go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, and there you go for number six. Took out the GCF of four, and then what we were left with was a quadratic binomial with subtraction. So I was able to take the square root since it was a perfect square, and we get x plus two, x minus two. I set both of those equal to zero, and we get x equals negative two comma two, or another way you might see Ms. Carranza and I write it as x equals plus or minus two. So. That's it for Algebra 2, Chapter 7.5 in class practice. Now, your homework is practice B over here. So, if you have any questions on this, please come in and see Ms. Carranza or myself. We would love to help you out. Otherwise, this is Mr. Grice signing off for Algebra 2, Chapter 7.5 in class practice. Thanks for watching.